Hi guys, um, so if you're new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth. I make mommy and lifestyle and sometimes beauty-ish videos here on my channel. Oops. My little baby girl is napping, so I thought I would do a quick first try demo review type of thing on the crazy expensive $400 hair dryer. Um, I am a bit of a Sephora junkie, less so since having a baby, but still really into Sephora and um, I might have VIP Rouge status, which means this last week I got 15% off uh, while shopping and I had a birthday in March, so I had some gift cards and I had um, a gift that I actually ended up returning because it was broken and that fueled me buying this beauty. I got the limited edition Mother's Day set, so hey, this can also be a Mother's Day present, Joe, if you're watching this. I did not pay $400 for this, but I still paid a lot of money. <clears throat> so it comes with a carrier. This is what makes it limited edition. The carrier is nice, but not all of the attachments fit in the carrier. So I'm not loving that. Um, I used it yesterday with the diffuser and I found that my hair maybe was a little bit frizzier than it normally is when I air dry it, but it was also, it had been raining for like days and days and days. So I'm not 100% sure if that's why, but today is sunny, so I thought I would try and give myself a blowout. Typically with a blowout, it still takes me quite a bit of time to do with my traditional hair dryer. It, I still need to flat iron after it. So I'm kind of trying to see if I can get away from having to flat iron. Um, I'm not a professional hairstylist by any means. In fact, I feel like I'm the opposite. I'm probably worse than the average person, but I like to look good. So I'm gonna see if this tool helps us to do so. So it comes with a diffuser. It comes with um, a very tapered styler. This is probably what I'll use. And then one that's a little bit wider, as you can see there. It is really small and easy to handle, but it's a bit heavier than I thought it would be. So lighter than the average hair dryer. It has four heat settings, or excuse me, it has three heat settings that you use here and three blower settings. It has a cool setting and then an on off switch. So I'm going to go ahead and put my normal products in that I use when I blow dry my hair, kind of go through those with you guys and then go ahead and do this and time it and see how long it takes and see how good or crappy I look and see if it was worth $400. Another nice thing about buying the sets for it is that I can return it like no questions asked. I have the receipt, I have the box, which you don't even need to keep, and that way you can get rid of it. If it's a bit echoey, I apologize. My daughter is napping upstairs. I have a one-year-old, um, or soon to be one-year-old. She is the cutest. And um, I'm in our downstairs uh, half bath because I didn't want to wake her up while I was doing that. Um, so I've got my phone here. It's currently... 10.06 and I'm going to go ahead and put my products in and then I'll just set the timer and do you guys on fast forward and kind of give you my thoughts along the way. Okay, so I just went ahead and I used the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In uh, Conditioner. I use this whether I wear my hair curly, straight, whatever, just to put it in so I can easily uh, comb through my hair and get it smoother because I do have naturally wavy slash curly um, with more of that in the back than in the front. A little bit frizzy hair so when I let it air dry I do, do put product in it to help encourage the curl and de discourage the frizz so I use this something else that I got in the sale that the lady at sport recommended was the BB repair for blow dry hair uh, as a heat protectant so this is bumble and bumble I got this yes she told me to use a very small amount and yesterday I used less than a dime size and I felt like maybe that was one reason too why I was frizzy I was also drying it on the hottest setting which is Horror. I don't know why I was doing that. I was still playing around. So I went ahead and I um, used a little bit more of this this time and I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. These are magnetic, which I forgot to add, which is super cool. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna take a section of hair, kind of start in the front and let's just see what we can do. So I'm gonna turn it on. That's it running. It's on. Okay, 
first pass through and it's pretty dry, less frizzy. I'm looking in the, the mirror behind the camera. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. So my camera, unfortunately, is about to die. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry half of my head with it paused and I'll time it and then I'll let you guys know how it goes and how it looks in the back and everything. Okay, so I did that first side of my head. It took about three minutes. So this is kind of our before. You can see the sleep is starting to dry quite a bit. This is our after. I'm gonna show you the back and I haven't really looked at that either. So I've got a little mirror. Oops, I'm gonna look. That did a really good job. This is about where I stopped. You can see the half and half. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Like it might need a once over with the straightener, but definitely not as much as I normally do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and keep filming and just uh, see how that goes. So give me one second. Okay, so I am all done with blowing out my hair. I think it looks good. It does feel really soft, which is great. The back is not perfect. I am gonna have to go over it with a flat iron, but that might be more my user error and not being awesome at blowing out my hair than anything else. My child is up, so I'm gonna go grab her and then go over everything real quick with a flat iron and cut and show you the finished results. It took me about 10 minutes to do everything. And that is, I blow dry a section, I turn the iron off, I get another section, I blow dry a section. So it is on and off with the iron. I think if I were just blow drying it straight to get it dry, it would be like two to three minutes max. Um, I'll go ahead and show you it all around. So it's quite soft, as you can see. I had a hard time getting the back to kind of turn in as I would normally do with the flat iron. But here's the back. Um, so a little bit rough, but it feels really soft, which is good. A lot of the reviewers were saying that their hair felt like straw afterwards, and I do not have that experience at all, which is wonderful. Um, and my hair looks nice and shiny, so I'm just going to go over it with a flat iron, and then I will show you guys the finished results and give you my final thoughts on the product. So I just went and flat ironed my hair real quick. It took about five minutes. May is up from her nap. She wanted to join us for the end of the review because she also has a lot of hair that we have to style. It's very time consuming to style all of this beautiful hair. But anyway, um, I just thought I'd give you my final thoughts, some pros and some cons. So it's $400, which is definitely a con. It is a hair dryer, first and foremost. It's not gonna change your life and it's not gonna change your hair that drastically. So I think that it is overpriced. I wouldn't buy it again unless it was on sale like it was and I had some gift certificates and some coupons. Um, but again, things like this hardly ever go on sale, so that's gonna be an issue there. Let's see, what else? Yeah. Con, the carrying case that it came with didn't hold the attachments, and for 400 flipping dollars, I would like it to also hold the attachments. I think that's quite reasonable. Some pros to go over real quick. It was faster to blow dry my hair with the Dyson hair dryer than with my traditional hair dryer, and I do have a, a fairly nice hair dryer as well that I use traditionally. Um, it was lighter, so it was easier to maneuver. <laughs> <laughs> this little one wants the camera. Um, we also really liked, I say we, I also really liked the attachments were magnetic. That can be a con though because you can't uh, interchange other attachments that go with other hair dryers like you can with a traditional hair dryer where it just kind of fits over the, the uh, mouthpiece. Some other pros, um, I definitely felt like it made my hair really soft, really shiny, which was nice. I think that this is a hair dryer for somebody who, one, wants to and can blow a ton of money on a hair dryer. Two, has hair that they do style with heat frequently, not infrequently. So when I had my long hair, it's not something that I probably would use as much. Now that my hair's short and I do blow dry it fairly frequently, it will be helpful. My final thought is that it is a hair dryer. It is a tool and when used correctly, it can definitely help make your mornings faster and easier. But it is an expensive tool and definitely not one that's 100% necessary so if it's something you want to get i say get it try it out return it if you don't like it because when something's four hundred dollars if you don't like it return that and don't feel bad about it and if you like it let me know if you have any tips for blow drying styling hair definitely leave them below i'm always learning uh again thank you so much for watching sorry for um our two guests here but we just wanted to say oh, 
Thanks for watching and go ahead and subscribe if you like what you see. Can you say bye-bye, May? Bye. Bye. Bye, guys.